Good morning, Aesthetic Athletes. Today is May 22nd, 2016. I'm six days out, and it's time to get aesthetic. So I just added a little salt to my eggs. I'm having some vitamin C because I'm getting some red spots on my chest, so I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm just trying to heal my body more with all the vitamin C I'll take in. I'm not taking too much because I know that will spike my insulin levels. But with the salt, I'll explain um, the whole reasoning behind that. All the rain. It's the morning. It's about 9 o'clock. So I'm at work now, but I'm just going to quickly explain my sodium manipulation and uh, the whole change with it. So I noticed, and I think you guys noticed as well, that I looked a little bit bloated when I was trying on those swim shorts. I think the sodium was holding on to too much water, allowing me to look more bloated and whatnot. So what I did instead now is instead of add sodium to all my meals, I'm just going to add it to my eggs in the morning. Uh, the reason being is because I used to have bacon in the morning, so we kind of substitute for that. Uh, when I have bacon, I won't have salt. So it just all depends as to the food I'm eating, right? So with my meals today, you guys saw there's no additives, nothing, just plain ground beef with broccoli and carrots and bean sprouts. Uh, that's going to be the meals for today. Uh, I got to head on to work now, guys. It's about, I it started about 9.45, it's 9.24 and... I believe I'm at Galaxy Kids again, and what Galaxy Kids is, is really just a little play park for kids. It, it literally is a play playground. It's a big playground for kids, and I just have to watch them, make sure they're wearing their socks, not fooling around. So I just returned the, uh, oh, drop some. Just returned the, uh, some shorts at Sport Check in uh, West Ed. Now, gotta go to Kingsway and get the right size. Okay, so apparently, the Sport Check did not have the shorts I was looking for, they have them in black but not in the blue that I'm looking for and really pissed me off because this is the second um, this is the second store now so I mean okay is this person going it's a three-way stop there you go perfect good job guys all right so that being said now I have to go to another sport check and go find them there, and that's not a guarantee too, because on the website it says that they have them, but in low in low stock. So I'm like surprised. What the heck? What's going on, right? And so it turns out that the website's not always right, and of course I'm not surprised. Websites can be decisive or um, are not always are not always right. You know, I mean it's common sense, but. I just have to go to another store and it kind of sucks because it's already 4.07. I'll probably get there about 4.30, closes at 5. And it's a Sunday. And I want to go to the gym. And the gym probably closes at 8. So I'm going to be rushing all over the place. Today's shoulder day, by the way. Shoulder and traps, which I pretty much hit my traps already when you do any shoulder exercise whatsoever. But I gotta, okay, I gotta turn left there. Yeah, it says about 17 minutes. I'll show you guys. Ooh, okay. Yeah. 17 minutes to get there. So I should be there soon. But I just want to deal with all this traffic at this time. Well, it's a Sunday. There's not much traffic. At my work, there's a lot of people. Like, at work, work was really busy today. I mean, I dealt with tons of kids as usual. Lots of rude adults today. Like, honestly, guys, just disrespectful but I mean what can I do I mean if people want to be rude and don't want to play by the rules I'll just have to fix them up nah, I'm just messing yeah I mean there are uh, people that are to an extent stubborn in my opinion I can't say I'm not myself either but you also got to realize that 
you're at Galaxy Line. You're at a kid's play park. Why why do you want to deal with like with like yelling or whatever? You why do you want to deal with that kind of stuff, right? I mean, there's really just no point and I'm surprised sometimes some of the things I see myself. But that's what I gotta deal with. That's my job. Uh, I can't complain too much. But right now, all we gotta do is focus on getting these shorts, these size 30 shorts. I got size 32 and they're nice, like the length and everything, but but uh, it didn't fit the way I wanted it to fit on my waist. And I explained to that, I explained that earlier to you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let me know what you guys think about the shorts, like if they're good shorts and whatnot. I personally think they look very good for the price I'm getting them for. I'm only getting them for about 25 bucks and usually those shorts cost 50 and up, 50 to 60 bucks. Uh, I don't think you have to spend that much money on board shorts, like it's not really needed. So, okay. Oh my gosh, this guy left on his left turning signal and doesn't just stop this guy in the red. I don't, know. I don't know what he's doing. Awesome drivers. Welcome to Canada, guys. Best drivers in the world. Run from Captain Hawk. Run, run, lost boy. They say to me. Honestly, guys, if I don't find it here, it's my last stop. Get new shorts. What I just found, guys. You see that number? 30. Boom! I am so lucky, the last door to check. Keep while you and me repeat. This bit of sweet heat is suffocating. And always hesitating Kryptonite desires Set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire with the decision I made. It's about to be a thunderstorm right now. It's raining like crazy, but I'm super happy with the decision. I got the shorts size 30. I look absolutely shredded in them. It looks perfect, fits perfect. And uh, I got a good deal because my friend works here and I didn't know that, so I just saw them. Uh, so thank you very much for that. And I'm super excited guys, six days out. Let's get it. I hope you guys enjoyed that little adventure with me trying to find the right shorts, the right size, actually. The, I got the right shorts, just couldn't find the size. It's crazy, driving all over the place. Drove for about almost two hours, guys. I finished work at three, got home at five. It was just hectic, it was crazy. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, I know it wasn't as uh, exciting and whatnot, but I try to make it exciting as I can. Anyways, once again, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Please leave a like below if you enjoyed it. Um, a comment, subscribe. All that great stuff, guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.